The beach we're walking on now is called West Beach, and it's one of the nicer beaches you'll find on the coast of BC. But for me, it's not the sandy part of the beach that's the interesting part. It's the rocky headlands on either end. So now we're walking down to one of these headlands where we can find animals like mussels and barnacles, and then the things that eat those animals like the starfish. Now, so even, even from some distance away, as we walk towards the, the rocks, you can already start to see patterns on the shore. So you can see that there's a stripe of barnacles across the top. There's areas that have those darker mussels there. They have a very clearly defined upper limit, the top, and a very clearly defined lower limit, the bottom, and they're set by different things. Mussels up here, they're worried about getting too hot. So over time, as the climate warms, the upper edge of the mussel bed has been getting pushed down. And we know in British Columbia, um, the upper limit has been moved down by about half a meter in some places. The lower limit is set by what eats them, so the starfish in particular. And the starfish do eat a little bit more when it's warmer, but they do especially well as the ocean gets more acidic. So as the ocean gets more acidic, the starfish are able to eat mussels more quickly, and so they're pushing the mussel bed up from below. And so you get this squeeze where you can lose this terrific habitat because of you know, one global change factor up here and a different one down here. One of the things I love about mussel beds is, is they're like those old-fashioned chart recorders that you know, measure earthquake shaking, that sort of thing, except it's, it's, you get two lines instead of one because you've got the top and you've got the bottom and they move for different reasons. So if it gets really, really hot, um, the mussels at the top of the bed will die and that pushes that end down. If the starfish do really, really well, they eat more and that pushes the bottom end up. And then sometimes it'll relax and go in the other direction. But that's the kind of thing that you can look at from one place to the next. We know it's getting warmer and we can show that the upper edge of the mussel bed is much lower than it used to be. And we know that the starfish are actually enjoying climate change. The more acidic the water gets, the more they eat, and the mussel bed may get pushed up as a result of that. And that's really what ecology is about, is if you can get to the cause, then we can say, aha, all right, it's, it's not the future yet, but we know that it's gonna be warmer. We know that the water's gonna be more acidic. We know that starfish respond in this way and mussels respond in that way, so we can predict with some confidence what's going to happen. And if we can start applying some of these ideas more broadly, then I'm hoping that we'll be able to understand how climate change and natural systems are relating to one another. And knowing that now really helps us prepare for it and possibly generate enough will to try to slow it down.